All right, roofers are here. We got our rain catchment system. They're gonna hook up gutters to it. So we'll be able to start saving water for the plants. And uh, Donald took some drone footage, but right now they're putting down the wood boards and fascia. They're attaching the foam and then they're gonna put the rubber roof on top of that. So we'll keep you guys updated as they get along. Okay. Show you guys the thickness. That's the foam that they're putting on top. Reflective on one side. And then here is what the rubber roof is gonna look like. This is gonna be top. That's the side they glue. So it'll be white reflective, which is perfect here in Florida. And uh, Donald is over here. There's Donald. I will get in the sun so I can't see it, but yeah, here's uh, some more of their stuff. There's the flashing. And then we got gutters. So excited. Yay! Oh, there's the drone. <laughs> Alright guys, so we went ahead and we got one of the uh, range ca catchments here and uh, the gutter, they're going to set it up to where the gutter goes into this and then we got the other big tank. We had to uh, move the fencing around a little bit, but look at that. This it looks so much better. I'm so happy. So, excuse the messes. And uh, they're playing their own radio, so we don't own the rights. I'm just going to say that now. But, look at the gutter system. And then we got the big poly tank here. So, this... Uh, we busted the water line. We got to repair that. Um, but that's the water line to the hog pen, so we're not worried about it. It's just the black tubing we put. But this one has two thousand gallons is what it's up to. Um, and then we got it's got built-in spouts here, which we will get the attachments for. And here's more of the uh, plastic. And we're going to see if we can get this leftover plastic because this would be a great weed barrier um, for when we do the little porch area. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> but yeah, there's a big poly tank that we'll use for watering and animal waters. So other than that, looks like everything's coming along. I can see if I can get up on the mound here, get an idea what they're doing. It, it rained again last night, so everything's just flooded again. Oh yeah. So they took out the chimney and the uh, direct TV satellite because we don't need that. There you go. They're almost done. They've only been here since 8 a.m. It's almost 11.30. All right, here's the uh, drone footage. Um, it's getting down to the last uh, nitty gritty here. They're uh, finishing it all up. They're putting the facial, the facers on the outside um, the gutters are up they have to put the downspouts yet 
and they are about to start putting the vents in. You can see uh, this guy is just putting the fascia up on the outside here. These guys were super fast. They knew what they were doing and we're just so glad that, you know, we went with a rubber roofing instead of doing like tin or shingles again or uh, something else. Um, here, they're actually putting the vents on and they use a... What it's is a that? heat gun and what they do is they heat the material up and it bonds to itself. So it's like a heated patch and it just melts right down to itself. It's pretty amazing. They do this on all the seams. Even uh, the different layers they put in. They got these great big long screws with fat plates that they uh, go in between where the, the layers go together. Mm -hmm. And then they come back and they heat bond it like this. Now the reason why we went with a rubber roofing is for a couple different things. One, it's going to be good for 160 mile an hour winds. It has a lifetime warranty on it. It's easy to fix if we should get a rip, a tear, or a hole. Um, if it's something that can be patched, they will come back and patch it. It's uh, super thick. It's like a, the closest I could come to it is uh, like a pool. If you think about a pool liner, it's a super thick, you know, rubber liner. Yeah, this is what they've been using up on commercial roofs forever. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is some good stuff. And if we should ever sell it, sell the house within 15 years, it's transferable to the next owner. Um, but other than that, it's got a lifetime warranty on it. I mean, we're so happy with these guys. I mean, they they came in. They were professional. Um, super nice. Super nice. And good quality work. All right. And the foam is... the foam Two that, inches thick. Two inches thick foam put down. And they were done by about 1230. And by 2 o'clock, that's when the house gets hot. We have the temperature set at 78 and immediately that same day, the house stayed at 76. It was amazing how much cooler it was. The AC wasn't running. The so, AC doesn't have to work hard at all now. Yeah, and I have the temperature set at 76 in our house When before, right now. we used to have to keep it at 78. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're super, ha super happy with this. I think it's going to be way more inefficient than a... Uh, regular roofing. a regular roof so i'm i'm thrilled yeah so we'll have to see what winter comes if uh how good it keeps the heat <laughs> <laughs> okay we are done so we do have gutters uh we have a downspout here and i'll show you how and where that's directed but we have gutters and fascia and you can tell up top here that way it doesn't rain on top of us um they did leave us parts for the third gutter which we are going to get another rain catchment system for uh, they did they were able to save some of the tarps for us from our our previous uh patchwork but here's a close-up of one of the end gutters And then over here, um, as another downspout, and this one is facing into the food forest. Um, same with this one over there. Um, it's facing towards the bananas, which is great. And then as we come along, we have another one over here, and comes down right here at the corner we go around our pile and that one is also facing that way and then you can tell there's more gutters up there so I'm going to come around to the front and 
and get into here. And as you can tell, nice work there. That's all uh, fascia, so that way the runoff goes towards the gutters. There's our first rain catchment. And then I'm gonna walk around. All right, on the back side. Hi, Cooper, hi, Duna. So here it is here. And I do apologize for the sun. We are going to fix that. We know it's not right. Um, it's not the proper way to do it. But, uh, you know, we asked them to put it, you know, to where the water goes into it. We weren't expecting them to put it into the thing, <laughs> but that's okay. It's still gonna do its job and we will fix it. But there is the rest of it. And got a sun a little bit. And then here's the huge tank. And, and they did the same thing up there where it's running straight in, which, you know, we got to put a screen on there. We got to put a topper on there. You know, we know we have to do things and we know it wasn't completely correct, but right now it, it'll do its job until we can get the right parts to do everything. And then, excuse the mess, like I said, we had to move a lot of stuff around. But as you can tell, it is bright white when you get up there. But all of our vents are these little cones that uh, you saw earlier, the melting to the house. And that is it. At least the top of our house is a whole lot better. And we are one step closer to really remodeling some more.